Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, what time of the year is it? It's fall and it's harvest time. So what does that mean? Well, it's time to review another harvest pumpkin hot sauce from Born to Hula. Check this out, everybody. This is harvest season four from Mr. Ed Buckholtz of Born to Hula hot sauce. All right. Well, I just love what they do every year. Now, Ed, uh, each season uh, brings awareness not only to different peppers, but to a, uh, a different grower or farmer who puts a lot of hard work into harvesting these peppers. So every year they partner with somebody else, and this is the fourth time that they're doing it. Let me go ahead and read what it says on the side of the bottle. It says, harvest is the activity of reaping, gathering and storing one's crops, usually ending with a celebration. This year's pepper for season four is the Daddle Pepper. And they were harvested by Revels Pepper Company out of East Palatka, Florida. Celebrate this festive time of year and enjoy our harvest. Now, I've reviewed every one of these uh, each season, and I'm telling you, I think that what Ed and Born to Hula has done has really set the standard for a pumpkin spice hot sauce. Uh, really, it's just amazing what they do. And uh, here's what it says on this one. Enjoy this fall season with all the flavors of fall. Made with pumpkin, apple juice, brown sugar, apple, apple cider vinegar, lemon, daddle peppers, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. Doesn't that sound delicious? Uh, sodium is uh, only 15 milligrams. But just check out this beautiful, beautiful pumpkin color. Doesn't it look like pumpkin pie in a bottle? Really, just awesome. Look at that beautiful pumpkin orange color. Just beautiful. Now, I love the consistency on season four. It seems to be a little bit thicker than what I remember from, from season three, if I'm not mistaken. But it's just perfect. Look at that. Nice and thick. But just beautiful color on this one. All right, they also say to uh, suggested uses, if you don't know what to do with a pumpkin hot sauce, I'm going to show you what I did, but here's what they say. Uh, brownies, chili, ice cream, sweet potatoes, and coffee, and so much more. How about that? Put some of this in a cup of coffee. Wouldn't that be good? All right. Too bad I don't have any pumpkin spice spam that I could review and put this on top of it. I think that would be good, but they sold out. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the aroma on Harvest Season 4. Now, every single season, uh, when I smell this, that's exactly what I get. It's just pumpkin pie in a bottle. Just an awesome, perfect balance of those pumpkin spice um, aromas. Really, really good. First ingredient is pumpkin. But, you know, you got to have that uh, the cinnamon, the salt, the ginger, the nutmeg, giving it that uh, pumpkin spice aroma. And I love the daddle pepper. I just love that pepper. It's, uh, it's about as hot as a habanero, but I think it has more of a sweet, fruity flavor to it. It's really awesome. But this really smells uh, uh, awesome, like pumpkin pie in a bottle. Really nice pumpkin spice aroma. All right, let's show you what it looks like. Nice and thick. Got to shake it just a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely thicker than last year's. And I like that. All right, here we go. Getting a spoonful here for you. Okay, kind of hard shaking out with the left hand anyway. All right, here we go. Harvest. Mm. Wow. Pumpkin pie in a bottle. This is awesome. Really, really nicely done, Ed. Now, I love the daddle peppers. Uh, you're, definitely, you're definitely picking up uh, that daddle pepper type heat in this one, but it's not uh, done in such a way that it's going to be overly spicy, but you definitely can feel the heat. A uh, little bit of the sting. They kind of sting if you eat enough of them, kind of like a habanero. They got that kind of um, a heat uh, to them. But it's bringing a nice level of spiciness to this one. You're getting the smooth, rich pumpkin, nice and thick. You're getting those other spices, the brown sugar, the, uh, the um, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar. But that spices with the cinnamon, nutmeg, and the ginger, which kind of seals the deal on creating that pumpkin spice 
uh, flavor and aroma is just really coming through nicely. So this is really, really good. All right, let me show you what I did with this one, guys. Uh, this was so delicious. I put this on top of uh, I put it on top of pumpkin pie in years past with some whipped cream, which is fantastic. But I put this on a big, uh, nice, fat slice, warm slice of pumpkin bread and topped that with my favorite ice cream, some Haagen-Dazs vanilla ice cream, and then poured this all over the top. That was super, super delicious. Yeah, I do think this would be good on brownies, ice cream, desserts of all kinds. Uh, sweet potatoes, uh, things like that. I think it'd be good on ham. Um, but yeah, putting it in coffee, I think that'd be an awesome thing to try. Um, but yeah, just super delicious. Really, really good. Heat on this one, I think I'd put this uh, about a two, two to three category. It's definitely mild. I think this is something that everybody can enjoy. But if you love pumpkin spice, if you love pumpkin pie, if you, if you love pumpkin, uh, you definitely need to check out Harvest because I think this is the pumpkin hot sauce that all others are going to be judged by. Uh, this has really set the standard for the pumpkin hot sauce hot sauces out there. And I know there's several of them, but this, this is just super, super good. All right, so check this company out, guys. They have some other incredible hot sauces. Born to Hula has been a, one of my favorite companies for many, many years now, since 2013 when I first started reviewing. Uh, Ed and Amy are just awesome people, and they create some really delicious hot sauces and other products. So make sure you check them out at Born to Hula. Dot com. Link will be down in the description. Ed, thank you so much for sending it. I do appreciate it. And guys, stay tuned for more. And until the next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.